now. Make sure my video is pinned. Okay, so welcome to Backyard Brookshade Yoga. Today we're going to breathe and move our bodies, help to rejuvenate and restore from our week, build some strength, some flexibility. I'm really putting in a lot of flexibility um, to today and just stretching. So I think you'll really enjoy it and feel good afterwards. And to start, we're gonna start a little bit different today. I would like to assist us in grounding down. And so for many of us, we have really tight feet. So we're going to start actually with our feet before we center. So come onto your knees. And let me just get my music here. And then cross your right, top of the right foot into the arch of the left foot and sit back. Okay, now for some of us, this, this could be really uncomfortable, excruciating. You, you might wanna come forward. If you're not feeling anything, then just adjust a little bit. So the top of the foot's going into the arch of the left foot. We're looking for an acupressure or marma point there. So if our feet are really tight and there's a lot of kind of toxicity, energy is being pushed up. That's where we can get overwhelmed stress. So we're just gonna kind of release our feet before we start our practice here to help us to ground down. So just close your eyes for a moment. You can turn palms facing up above the knees. Let the shoulders be back and down. And just let your pelvis sink down. Notice the sensation in the arch of the left foot. Maybe you feel some pressure in the top of the right foot. Notice how you're having to pull your core in a little bit so you don't topple over. And life is a balance of holding on and letting go. So I invite you this morning to let go, to just let go of anything that's not serving you. So if you think about yourself as a cup and your cup is full with some things that maybe are not serving you. So you need to empty out your cup of any negativity, of any fear, any doubt. Maybe there's an argument you have that you just can't seem to let go of, a, a relationship, a situation. We need to empty that out so that we can bring in the good stuff and to hold on to the good stuff. Let's do one more big breath here. Inhale, belly, ribs, collarbones. Exhale, let's side out the mouth. <sighs> Gently open the eyes, come forward onto the hands. And let's just tap our feet out on the ground and we'll go to the other side. So take the top of the left foot into the arch of the right foot and settle on in. Notice any difference here. And this time keep your palms facing down on your knees. So that's more of circulating the energy, keeping it from within versus when we turn our palms up, we're more receiving. Just notice how that posture shifts what you're experiencing. And again, just let your pelvis sink down, get heavy. You're using your body to massage your, your foot here. And just allow that energy that whatever you need to empty to drain into the earth below you. Just let it drain out. Inhale, let the chin come up. Look up at the blue sky. If you're outside, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Just stretch through that throat chakra, the front of the throat. And as you exhale, let the chin come down. Maybe it tucks your sternum. Feel a nice stretch in the back of the neck. So permission to override me at any point. You are your best teacher. We all have different injuries, surgeries. You know your, your limit where to go. Inhale, bring your face back to center. Flutter eyes open. Bring the hands forward. Come forward onto the knees. Tap those feet out. And then tuck the toes under. Tuck the toes under. If your pinky toes need a little help kind of tucking in the same direction, tuck them under and then come to sit on your heels. Yeah, and again, if this is intense, you can just come to sit forward or even come up onto your knees. But see if you can stay here for a moment. Let's inhale our shoulders forward, squeeze them up to the ears, exhale back and down. Keep your heart open. Allow the belly to tuck in and up. And let's stretch our arms out to the horizon, but feel the shoulders still sliding back and down. Take your left hand and peel those right fingertips in towards you, stretching along the top of the wrist, 
the forearm. This should feel really good, especially we're texting, we're typing. We use our hands for so much. Just breathe here. Continue to let that weight sink into your feet. As you inhale, open the palm, point the fingers up. Take your hands and pull the fingers back. So now extending that wrist back. Again, you know your limits. Keep breathing here. I know this is intense. If you need to lift up for a moment, you can, but I promise you, your feet will thank you. And let's go to the other side. So um, flex the left foot down or left hand down, take the hands and pull those fingers in towards, squeeze the shoulder blades together, be nice and tall, be nice and heavy in the pelvis. They're my yellow finches, they're my little friends. So we have some beautiful finches joining us this morning. Yeah. And take your fingers up. So if you can ever practice backyard yoga outside, it's ideal, but just soak in your space wherever you're at. And now that we're coming slowly out of COVID, you're welcome to come here and be six feet apart like Allison. So whatever's right for you. So we switched it up, fingers are pulling back. Awesome, and then let's just make some circles. And then take your hands onto your shoulders and just make some circles here. Notice if you want them to be fast or slow, and I know our feet are still talking to us. Do a couple more circles here. And then slowly come forward, untuck the toes. And let's just come to sit on our heels with our toes untucked. Close the eyes. Kind of cleansing breath. So in through the nose, out through the mouth. And let's come to stand just to feel the difference in the feet now. Notice if your feet just feel wider. Yeah, do you notice the different Allison, difference there? You're just more connected to the earth. And then knock your knees out. And notice when you knock your knees out, there's kind of like a disconnection from, from the earth, from being fluid and having that energy move. And then just a slight bend in the knees. Spread and press down through the four corners of the feet. Lift the arches, let the shoulders be back and down. Yeah. On the inhale, let's reach the arms up, get nice and tall. On the exhale, dive down, fold in hand. You can half, you can slide your hands down your legs if you'd want. Like inhale, half lift. And then as you exhale, I'd like you to come lay onto your back. So come to lay onto your back all the way down. Just settling into this corpse pose. Traditionally, we do this at the end of class, but I wanted to start us this way. So now that we're feeling more connected, and if you're outside or even if you're inside, just allow yourself to be so heavy and soft. Take up as much space as you can on the earth, and then just feel the earth supporting you, the mother below you, and then the father above you. Just feel that support. Let the chin tuck slightly, get the shoulders be down the back. And just find some stillness here. Place your hands on your heart. And say to yourself, or even out loud, I am enough. I matter. I am exactly where I am supposed to be right in this moment. I let go of, fill in the blank. I empty of doubt, fear, overwhelm, whatever it is. And then gently open the eyes. We'll let that go. And bring the right knee into the chest. You can keep your arms long by your sides and just begin circling through that hip. If you want to have your hand on your knee, you can. But just looking for any kinks or catches, just noticing the flexibility, getting the synovial fluid moving in that right joint there and then switch directions. Switching directions again, you control how large or, or small the movement is. And then allow that right knee to come over to the left, taking a nice twist, your left hand to come onto the outside of the right knee, your right arm goes out in a T, you can even turn your head out to the right. 
And notice as you're twisting here, feel your hip, right hip press forward and down, stretch out that low back. You can try straightening that top leg, pointing the toe. What do you need here? But find the shape and then find stillness. And then find that breath. So yoga, really all you need to do here today is breathe long and deep and stay on your mat. All these poses are optional. So let's deepen that breath in this twist. Notice what happens as you inhale, belly, ribs, collarbones. As you exhale in the reverse, squeeze it out, twist a little bit more. Surrender. On the next inhale, firm the belly, slowly bring that knee back to center, untwisting. And we'll go to the other side. So extend the right leg, notice any difference there. And then begin to make circles with this left knee. And keep that low back pressing into the earth so we're already activating our core. Switching directions. And again, you can use your hands on your knee or I just like to let it float freely. Notice where there's any kinks or catches. Maybe you wanna let the knee kind of open, stretch the inner thigh, pause for a moment. Make this sensual. It's really about what feels good. If you're outside, just soak in that blue sky, that vast blue sky as clear as your mind, clear and smooth as your mind. Next time your knee is over to the right, let it go all the way over to the right. Right hand can come to the outside of the left knee, left arm goes into that T, gaze over to the left. Open eyes or close eyes. Feel the hip press forward and down. Nice twist here. Where is your breath? Really letting go here. Visualizing that negative energy, those negative feelings, that doubt, whatever that is for you, just draining into the earth and trusting that the earth can handle it. Just let it go. No need for you to hold on to that any longer. From the belly on the in breath, come back to center. Let's take our legs and arms up to the heavens and just begin to shake. Just to begin to shake. Maybe it's gentle, vigorous. Uh, you can even just make some noise. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. And then stretch your limbs nice and long, straight up. Inhale. As you exhale, 90 degrees. Let the feet come down. Let the arms come down, palms facing down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend. We're just connecting breath and movement. Inhale, lift up, stretch, but keep pressing low back into the earth. Exhale, bend. Inhale, reach up. This time, open up like a book, arms and legs. Nice little straddle. Exhale, left hand, left leg on top of right. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze the triceps together. You're closing your book. Inhale, open, nice and wide. Exhale, right side on top. Squeeze. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, use your breath. As you open, open your chest. Open those inner thighs. Exhale, squeeze right on top. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze again. But this time, let your heels come to your glutes. Take your hands to your knees and pull your knees into your chest as you press your hips down and forward. Then slide your hands down to your ankles and pull your ankles apart. So you're pressing in with the knees, pulling apart. You may feel a lot of sensation in the left hip. Allison, you with me? <laughs> now, if this kind of shoelace hip opener is too much, you can also come into a figure four. But let those thighs kiss and just squeeze, 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 breathe. So it's like this resistance. You're pulling in and out, hips pressing down. Let the chin tuck in, neck is long. As you inhale, unwind, reach up, open up. Nice big straddle right side on top kiss your right thigh on top of the left bend the knees and then start right here maybe you're just bringing the knees into the chest that releases your low back begin to feel a stretch in the right hip right side so you're pulling the knees in pressing the hips forward and down and then if you want more slide the hands down to the shins the ankles and so it's in and pulling apart breathe here we also have a brook shade boot camp that we do and some of us were there yesterday and our our glutes and our hips are tight so this should feel extra good and just feel your chest also open scoop the shoulder blades from behind your heart and open your heart let the chin still tuck inhale release that and let's just shake it out again 
And then bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Let your head go in the other side direction of the knees. And then begin to rock forward and back. Maybe it's small, maybe it's large. Have your hands below your shins. And if it feels okay for your back, your feet can even come all the way over. This is poor woman's massage. And we have two options. You can turn onto your side and press up to tabletop. Or next time you're coming forward, press into your shins, cross your ankles, roll over your knees. Tabletop, yes. Awesome, ladies. Woo, we're here. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Press into the tops of the feet and tuck the tailbone with the shoulder blades spread apart, shin tucks in, cat pose. I saw some kids there with Sophia. You'll see, Sophia, you can even meow if you have some kids that want to join you today. With the belly tip, with the heart tip forward, tuck the toes under, moo. I used to also teach kids yoga and baby yoga. Tuck the toes, come into your cat. Really squeeze out the breath. Arch the spine like a cow, feet, or cat. Feel into every vertebra. Tuck the toes. Feel your heart pulling between the belly. Look up. Two more rounds, just like that. Really nice, everyone. Really nice. Looking great. Awesome. Let's pause in tabletop position, nice flat back, and extend that right leg straight back. Reach through your right heel and reach the left arm forward. Reach through the fingertips. Stretch yourself apart. You're pulling yourself apart. You can stay here or add dynamic movement. As you inhale, you stretch. As you exhale, crunch it in. Knee to elbow, chin to chest. Inhale, open bloom. You can even point your toe this time. Bow up, little back bend. Exhale, squeeze it in. You can also just do your leg. We'll do this three more times, squeezing in and opening, squeezing in. Next time you're stretching, let's bring your heel towards your glute and maybe take that left hand over to your right shoelace and kick into that. Stretch into the quad, open the chest and left shoulder. Keep the belly nice and firm. Grow those toes higher up towards the heavens. Kick, 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 breathe. One more big inhale, get big and broad. Exhale, slowly release. Knees wide, big toes together, sink into your child's pose. Cleansing breath. Ah, just drain out anything you need to right here. Moving that stuck energy, releasing, creating space for the good stuff. On the next inhale, press into the hands, come on up. Knees underneath the hips, firm belly, let the pelvic floor lift in and up, belly hugs in, extend the left leg back nice and long. Add that opposite limb, pull yourself apart, tug of, tug of war. Yeah. Sometimes our minds get in a tug of war, yeah? It's okay, just breathe through it. Inhale, bow up, point your toe, exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, bloom. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, bloom like the beautiful hydrangeas in the neighborhood. Exhale, squeeze two more times with your breath. You have this. Feel the strength of the body. Feel the flexion. Feel the extension. Next time you're extension, extending it nice and long, stretch, stretch, stretch. Bring your heel back to your glute and reach around. It's okay if you don't grab your foot or if you have your foot. Kick, kick, kick. Let the toes come up to the heavens. Feel the sensation. Breathe. Roll those toes a little higher. Hug the belly in a little harder. One more inhale. Exhale, release it down. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. You're also invited to a child's pose if you need that at any point or a sip of water. Honoring your body. That's the beauty of yoga. You have 60 minutes where you get to dive inside and be in your body. Check in and calm your mind. Just let your mind be with sensation. And your mind will still wander, that's okay. But always come back to the breath. So inhaling in your downward facing dog, or you can have your knees down. I know I've had some newer yogis join us, but now I think for teacher, this might be her fifth class. So, you know, just noticing what happens as you practice yoga once a week, every two weeks. Certainly more is better, but just what shifts are happening. Bend the knees deeply, let the belly be on the thighs, gaze between the thighs, spread the fingers wide, get nice and long. Sassy in your butt, sassy in your butt. 
and then straighten the legs let the heels reach down breathe into the back of the legs your heart is still reaching for your thighs exhale completely bend the knees look forward and walk your feet up between your hands nice ragdoll here just sway it side to side let it go Creep your hands over to the left, a nice gentle twist. So you're still full, full, forward folding. You're just creeping your hands over to the left. Hug the navel into the spine, feel the right hip move back. Inhale brings you back to center. Creep over to the other side. So your left hip moving back. And you're always invited to add on or take away. You know, if you wanna lift your right arm up or if there's a favorite twist or stretch that you your body is calling you to do as I just kind of guide you. You can add on. It's about your practice. Inhale, bring your hands back to center. Exhale, fold it in. Take your hands behind your calves and really fold in half. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. For some of us, you can press palms together and then bring your palms forward and even hold on to the front of your legs, your shins. Cross them over, so opposite. Yes, Allison, awesome. So you kind of have these prayer hands and then right hand, left shin, left hand, right shin, and then straighten the legs, fold in half. Calming your nervous system, shift the weight into the ball of the feet. Look up at the sky, Look up at the ceiling where it meets the wall. And then let the shoulder blades slide down the back. You're still here. Hug the belly in even more and see if you can tilt your sit bones up even more. Shake out your head, just let it go. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know. You're right where you need to be, nowhere else to be right now. Just for one moment now, for this one hour, there's, what if there's no problems to solve, nothing to figure out, nothing to do, just, but just be here. Release that grip, and then inhale so gracefully, half lift, half lift, so your spine is parallel to the earth. Press into the shins, let the crown head reach forward, sit bones spreading wide, reaching back. Exhale, fold, drape even deeper now. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, drape even more. And then heel toe your feet wider than your hips and drop your hips down and come into camper squat. Yeah, camper squat. Inhale, feel the spine lengthen. Exhale, really hollow out the belly. If you want a little bit more, add the arms. So reach one arm, maybe both forward, but I want your legs to be working, not your low back. Legs are working. Inhale, pull yourself apart. There's that, um, that uh, what is it called? Tug of war. Exhale, elbows squeeze behind you. Squeeze those lats, rhomboids together. Inhale, lengthen. Stay in your, your hips. Exhale, squeeze. Three more. Inhale, lengthen. You're looking down. Squeeze, hollow out belly. Two more. Oh, I feel my legs. Stay with me here. And squeeze, 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 and then fold. Heels of the feet together, back under the hip. Take the hands into the crooks of the elbows. Just sway side to side. Notice how your feet are feeling juicy and fluid from what we did at the beginning. Notice some more freedom in the back of the legs. Inhale, half lift again. Exhale, drape. Inhale, this time we're gonna come up to standing. Take your arms out to the side and stand all the way up, 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 up. Press the palms together. Bring your hands to heart center. Okay, we're going to use the breath and flow now. So we're going to do a sun salutation. So I'll go slow the first time and then we'll do one breath, one movement. So inhale, reach the arms up. Get nice and big, nice and tall like a pencil. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand reaches back, left arm reaches forward, but your hips, everything is the same. Look at your right fingertips, open through your chest. Inhale, back to center, close your teeth arm. Exhale, use the full exhale, open to the left, feel so good. Allison, turn your palms facing, yes. So don't face palms to the earth, face them to the side, helps the shoulders drop down, yeah. Squeeze the left hip forward, lift the pelvic floor. Little bend in the knees. Remember, we want to be connected to the ground. Inhale, close it up. This time, up and over a giant beach ball to the right. Your right hand can even find your left wrist. Feel sensation along the whole left side body. You can even look up here. Inhale, lengthen nice and tall. Exhale, up and over giant beach ball to the left. Left hand finds right wrist. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Open chest. 
feel sensation all in right side body. We're trimming our waist here, especially getting ready for the Brookshade pool. Woohoo! Inhale, come all the way up, look up, bend the knees a little bit. We're going to take a back bend, firm the belly and the butt, and then exhale, goal post the arms. You can also support low back. You can also keep hands together and lean back and you can look way back. You can look forward, listen to your neck, listen to your body, but feel that whole front body peeling open here. We're not usually extending ourselves like this. We're always kind of more flexion, flexion. So just soak it in, squeeze those elbows together if your hands are on your hips. Gently use the in breath to come up into that pencil. And then exhale, swan dive, or hands can also come down the legs as you dive deep, fold forward, look between the knees. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, first vinyasa, plant the hands, step back into your plank. Here we go, we're gonna do three push-ups, yogi push-ups, knees can be up or down. Inhale, come slightly forward. Exhale, squeeze elbows in. Maybe you come down just an inch or halfway. Inhale, press straight up. Exhale, come down up to halfway. Inhale, press up. Exhale, come down to halfway. Hover, hover, hover. Come all the way onto your belly. And inhale, lift your heart, your chest up and away. Look up, baby cobra, or you can do a bigger cobra. Exhale, nose comes to the mat. Bring your heels to your butt. Press into that modified plank. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. If you need a child's pose or to come down to your knees for half dog, that's there. We're gonna move through this sequence three more times. One breath, one movement. Exhale completely, look forward, step walk or jump feet forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, tee it out to the right. Inhale, close, stretch up, tall, tall, tall. Exhale, tee it out to left. Inhale, close. Exhale, up and over, giant beach ball to the right. Inhale, brings you back up. Exhale, up and over, giant beach ball to the left. Inhale, brings you up. Exhale, find your little back bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive, fold in half. Inhale, shine your heart, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back lower into your push-up, chaturanga. You can go all the way down to belly or stay halfway up and do up dog. So either up dog or little cobra. Tuck the toes under hips to the sky or big cobra. Also, you can go right from plank to downward facing dog and skip the vinyasa. All right, breathe in your dog, balancing all your hormones here, stretching and warming up all those joints. And I have some music here, follow the sun. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. You're gonna go through this two more times on your own, but I'm here with you. You can add on, you can take away when you're ready, come to the top of the mat. We're gonna, a moving meditation. Inhale, you expand, exhale, you're in half. And then you root to rise and you find those T's. Find those T's with your breath. One breath, one movement. As you exhale, you're squeezing out. As you inhale, you're getting tall. And then find sensation in the sides. Find your back bend. Get tall and fold in half. Lengthen and then here's that vinyasa, that high to low push up. Your back bend, whatever that is for you. We're gonna do it two more times. This is so good. Just keep moving and breathing. As you're ready, you begin again. We get a redo. I know I get my kids redos all the time. You gotta just start again, fresh. Each breath, take those twists. Open your side body, feel the sensation. Each time you're getting bigger and longer. Your back bend. Folding in half, half lift. And your vinyasa, or you can go right from plank to downward facing dog. One more time. Your breath, your practice, moving with the music. Oh. 
And once you're in downward facing dog again, pausing there, finding some stillness or a child's pose. What do you need? Finding your stillness, diving inside, closing the eyes. Just noticing the shifts in the body, greater sense of freedom from moving and breathing and releasing, restoring. So now that we release, we can restore, we can receive. You need a sip of water, finding some water. Allison, you want me to grab your water? You okay? Okay. So let's get into the legs now. So from downward facing dog, exhale completely, step walk, jump feet forward. Inhale, there's our half lift. And then let's let's fold, heel toe the feet nice and wide, and let's come into Malasana, like a full squat now. So before we were in more of this camper squat, and if that's what's serving you today, you can go right back to your camper squat. That is fine. This is all about listening to your body. Finding your edge. Yeah. Feeling the air on any exposed skin, letting the knees press apart, letting the hips drop. Maybe you have a variation you prefer here. If you want to try lifting up the arms, it's going to put a little more strength needed in your inner thighs and you circle your wrists if you want. Look up. You can come back to prayer. Gently nudge those knees apart. Just close the eyes for a moment. And what would you like more of in your life here? So just filling your cup. You get to choose what you allow in. We control our minds. You get to, you get to choose what, what do you need more of? What do you need more of? Patience, love, freedom. Yeah, so let's start bringing that in. One more exhale, sink your hips a little bit lower, shine your heart a little higher, and then take your hands to the earth, straighten the legs, heel to the feet together, a little rag doll here. Bring circulation back to the hips there. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend the knees, drop the hips down, low, 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 and then lift just the arms and the torso. You're in Utkatasana here. Utkatasana. Press the palms together if you want. Look up. Let the sit bones reach back. Breathe. Hollow out that low belly. It's as if I'm behind you, pressing that low belly in and up. Lift the pelvic floor as well. Then we're going to take a twist here. Exhale, hands to prayer. Take the left tricep to the outside of the right knee or even the inside of the left knee, wherever you're at. Here you can open your wings, you can take a bind, but stay low in those hips, nice and low. In breath brings you back to center, reach the arms up. I know you guys are working here. Exhale, hands to prayer, let's twist over to the other side. Over that left shoulder, maybe open your wings, take a bind, drop your butt low, hollow out the belly. Breathe in and out through the nose. So even though you're efforting here, your breath is still long and full and it's sending that signal to your body that you're safe. Keeping that parasympathetic nervous system engaged. So this is where when our buttons get pushed outside of here, that long breath is what will send that message. Even when our mind's saying something else, unwind, come back to your chair, sink a little bit low, and then get nice and big. Exhale, goal post, open up, back bend. Inhale, pencil. Exhale, dive deep. Inhale, half lift. We're going to take a vinyasa. You're high to low. Find your back bend, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg nice and high. Feel the core engage. Exhale, bring your right foot between your hands and lift that right arm up to the heavens. Dragon flag twist. Reach to the back heel. Stretch the mat apart like taffy. Breathe. 
And then as you exhale, drop the left knee down, untuck the toes if you like, and come onto that left forearm. Let the back of the right hand come to the small of the back, roll onto the outside of the right foot. Now, if that's a lot going on for you, you can just stay in that dragonfly twist with the knee down, but we're just getting into more of a lizard and getting into that juicy kind of hip there. If your neck's feeling a little bit strange, you can look down. I'm gonna look down. You can even just counter stretch and look over to the left. Ooh, that feels good. As you inhale, plant your right foot, take your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes under, let's step back into a plank. Hug the organs in and up. If you want more, float that right leg. Come on, Allison, yes. Float it up there, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down, pull yourself apart. If you want, keep your legs floating as you take your chaturanga, so your high to low push up. Upward facing, downward facing. Woo, you guys are awesome. All right, other side, left, left leg nice and long. Exhale, bring the left foot between the hands, looking forward and take that left arm up to the heavens. Dragonfly twist, really spiral your chest up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Stretch them out apart, breathe. Let the hips press down. As you exhale, drop that right knee. You can untuck the toes. And then you may want to come also down to your right forearm and then roll onto the left side of your foot. And maybe you want to take your hand onto your thigh or your knee. Or you can keep it up and wrap it behind. Just looking for sensation, breathing. Your next inhale, plant that left foot. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the back toes under. We're going into plank on the other side. Float that left leg if you'd like this time. Or again, you can have one knee down, both knees down. Breathe here. Get narrower, squeeze everything in towards your midline. Feel the crown of reaching forward. Find a stretch in the calves if your knee is lifted. Two more breaths here, you have this. Press the earth away, nice and strong. And then as you exhale, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing, woo. If you need a child's pose here, you can take it, otherwise just breathing in your downward facing dog, walking your dog, bending your knees. You can even take a turn on your turntable where you inhale the heels up, turn them over to one side. Inhale back to center, spin your feet to the other side. Feels really good. On your inhale, look forward, come into a plank. Knees can be up or down. We're gonna lower all the way down onto our belly through our chaturanga. So squeeze those elbows in, come all the way down, 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 and point the toes. Take your arms long by your sides and press the tops of the hands into the earth. So your palms are facing up. And then hollow out your low belly, press your pubic bone into the earth by firming your glutes. And we're gonna lift off everything but the tops of the hands and our pelvis. So inhale, lift the crown of the head forward and up, and then lift your feet back and up. And the wider your feet are, the higher you'll be able to get. And look up, breathe here. Pressing into the tops of the hands, but keeping that belly contracted, keeping space in the low back here. As you exhale, let your right ear come to the earth, turn to the left, relax. As you inhale, lift up again. As you exhale, left ear comes down, turn to the right. Inhale, lift up a little higher, hold here. Notice as you inhale, you lift up. As you exhale, still stay lifted, even though you're flowing and moving your body with your breath. Inhale, lift higher, exhale, right ear, come down. Inhale, lift up, let's do that two times each side. Exhale, left ear, inhale up, right ear. Bring it up again, left ear. And then bring it up again, this time interlace fingers and low back and really stretch yourself apart. Nice, nice opening. 
your chest of your front body and even you can feel your glutes, your thighs working. One more inhale and exhale, let it go. Take your hands by your shoulders, come into a child's pose, but take your time to get there. Take your time to get there. Low back is tender after that. It's okay though, we're just allowing the circulation to come back. Cleansing breath if you want. And your next inhale, walk your torso up. And take your calves and turn the flesh of the calves outward so you can come to sit between your heels. We're going to stretch our calves, or our quads rather. Now, if this is no bueno for your knees, um, you can also have like a blanket here or you can turn onto one onto your side and just do a quad stretch like so, okay? So we have options here. But if you're sitting between your feet, get a nice long torso and then walk your hands back. Fingers are pointing towards your toes and slowly begin to come onto your forearms. I like to kind of hold on to my feet. Now that's not, gosh, in my 20s, I could go all the way down. <laughs> if we did just one side, you might be able to go all the way down or maybe not. But these quads tend to really shorten, those muscles get short. So if you did this every day, you eventually, I need to do this every day. So I'm keeping my chin tucked in. Allison is letting her head just open and, and fall. We keep that belly engaged, let the tailbone reach forward and squeeze your knees together and then press them down and just breathe. Try to relax the neck wherever it's at. So this is hero pose. Hero pose, but a supine, so we're getting into the quads. Do three more breaths here. And then coming out the way you went in, slowly press into the elbows if you're there, and then take one hand on the earth, then the other. Take your hands on your hips for a moment. Just close the eyes, dive inside. And then walk the hands forward, tuck the toes under, come to sit on your heels just for a moment, but then we're going to stand on our knees. We'll do camel pose. So this is another back bend. So inhale, both arms up, look up, get nice and tall. Feel your heart lifting up, but feel the tailbone reaching down. So everything is nice and integrated here. And then take your right hand either down to your waist, or maybe it's going to come down to your right heel and keep looking up, stretching through that left side body, but opening the front body at the same time, breathing here. If you have a full camel in your practice, you can most certainly go there. We'll do three more breaths on this side, though. On the next inhale, slowly bring both arms up and torso up. Press the palms together, get tall, tall, tall. And then slowly let that left arm come back. Either it can support you at your waist, or maybe you're reaching down, finding that heel. Feel length in the right side body, feel your hips pressing forward, tailbone reaching down. Hug in your organs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, untuck the toes. Let the hips sink down again. Come on to our hands, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Anything that feels good, turntable to kind of release that low back. Exhale, completely look forward, step walk, jump feet forward, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, root to rise. Come all the way up, 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 up to stand. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do a balancing and then we're moving towards the end of class here, but not quite yet. <laughs> okay, let's find a nice Tadasana. So inhale the shoulders forward, back and down, turn the palms forward. Let's have our feet be hip width distance apart. Lift the arches, pressing the four corners of the feet. Feet should feel so good. Tailbone's lengthening, heart is lifting, slight tuck in the chin, crown of the head reaching up. And then inhale those arms up, Tadasana. Now shift your weight into your left foot and slowly allow the other leg to rise up. One-legged Tadasana. Lift it a little bit higher. And then soften the elbows and the wrists and the shoulders, we're gonna fly our crane here. If you want more of a challenge, you can close your eyes. We're flying our crane. And then let's reach the arms up nice and strong. And then tee the arms, twist over to the right. Twist to the right like we did earlier in class. Left hand can even come to the outside of the opposite knee or even grab that big toe. And if you're Feeling like you need a little bit of challenge, look back at those fingertips, twists. It's like a standing twist. They call this dancing Shiva. Keep that leg lifted, inhale, unwind, reach up. Press the palms together, find some energy, cross your right ankle above your left knee and sink it down. Yeah, prayer hands, one-legged chair, getting into that glute again, awesome. Flex that top foot. On the inhale, squeeze it all together. On the exhale, let's let it go. Then inhale back into your extended um, Tadasana. Shift weight to the opposite foot. Let the leg float up. Soften the elbows and the shoulders. It's a lot harder. You're on double mats too. So double mats and being on grass is a lot harder to find balance. Yeah, maybe close your eyes if you want to challenge. Picture your... Favorite crane or bird. Woo! And then shoot those arms up and then tee them apart to the left. And the right hand can come to the outside of the left knee. And then you use that to twist, to open your chest. Hug that belly in, open, open, breathe. Inhale, bring it back, press the palms together, bring them down to your heart. Left ankle comes above, right knee, sit into your chair. So this song right here is Daybreaker. They're the dance party. I love you guys to come today. I'm gonna send you the link. Sink a little bit lower, breathe. I'm also doing a seven day challenge next week. I'd love for you to join me, whether your challenge is to fast, do intermittent fasting, or go to bed earlier, meditate every day, move your body every day. We're gonna do a really fun challenge. I'm gonna send you guys the info. Inhale, reach up. Come to the top of the mat. Let's do a vinyasa to ring that out. Fold in half, half lift. High to low, upward facing, downward facing. Or you can just come to sit onto your bottom. Sit onto your bottom. Ah. Bring the knees into the chest. Let them go side to side. Take your feet wider than your hips. Let the knees go to one side. So your windshield wipering back and forth. And keep your knees just standing up. Reach the arms up again. Hold on to your elbows like I dream of Jeannie. I don't know, I might be aging myself here. And then pull your elbows over to your right as your knees drop over to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, pull over to the other side. So elbows to the left, head and knees to the right. Just go back and forth here. That feels good to you. And then release the arms. Bring the heels close to the buttocks. Getting ready for bridge pose. Press the feet into the earth. Press the shoulders into the earth. Feel your heart open. Firm the belly and then lift up. And then lift the arms up behind you. Reach them on the earth behind you. Reach to the fingertips. They're not resting. They're hovering. Exhale, hands and hips come down. Inhale, lift. 
open, exhale, hands and hips come down. One more time, inhale, lift. This time keep the hips lifted, but bring the hands down and either hold onto the outside of the mat and stretch the outside of the mat forward. So you're pressing the mat forward to find more of a back bend, or you can roll those shoulders underneath, interlace and drive the back of the hand. 10 breaths right here. We are doing a lot of back bends today, opening that heart. Opening that heart, breathing here. Let that heart expand, three more breaths. Let it receive. So what do you need more of? What, are you, what do you wanna hold on to? What do you choose to fill your cup with, fill up with? One more big inhale, lift, lift, lift. Then exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. Let the legs come up to the heavens. So just extend those legs up. You could be staying right here. Let's make some circles with our wrists and our ankles. It feels good to shake off anything, any remaining residue, you can do that. So either staying here, this is your inversion, or if you have a handstand, or if you wanna go into half shoulder stand or full shoulder stand, keep the arms um, and palms long on the earth and just begin to rock your knees in towards your nose. Just rocking forward and back and I'm pressing my hands to get there. And then I bring my knees towards my nose and then I support my hips like a bowl of fruit. And then extend the legs up. That's half shoulder stand. Full shoulder stand is bringing the knees forward even more and then walking your hands down your back where your hips are more underneath your shoulder and your chin is tucking in. And just look straight up, do not look at me. Oh wow, there's sunlight on my toes only, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, just walk your hands down, I feel my ribs, my lungs. Just send some love to yourself here. Squeeze those inner thighs. You have the option of taking this into plow pose where you take your feet up and over. My low back's talking to me, so I'm gonna actually bend my knees. Just let my knees kind of come down a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back into shoulder stand. And when you're ready to land a couple ways, bring the knees back in, let the arms be long, palms are facing down. I'm using my arms as brakes as I slowly land. Those knees go side to side. Let's take our hands underneath our hips. So your palms are facing down. We're gonna do a variation of fish here. Let the feet be long, flex the feet. And just press into the elbows and lift your chest. And you lift your chest. Another option is to press into those forearms and come onto the top of the head. So opening the front of the throat, but most of the weight is in your forearms, you're pressing down. And if that's too much, then you're just pressing to your forearms and you're just feeling your chest open. So you find where you're at. Three more breaths, but again, not moving your head. Receiving, opening your heart. To come out, press into your forearms, lift that head gently, begin to bring the chin in. And then roll off of your arm, but got some good tourniquet happening there. Just squeezing them like we did our feet to just bring in some good blood and oxygen now, detoxifying. And then any final movements, happy baby, knees wide, reaching in between the knees to find the feet, rock side to side. Anything that feels good before we completely relax. So as you're ready, final relaxation. This is what you've prepped for, what all of this work has been done for, for this final pose. So legs can be long, feet towards the outside of the mat. Arms are long, and the shoulder blades sliding down. Feel that chest open, palms are facing up. 
receiving. Chin tucks in slightly. Other option two is bring soles of the feet together. Let the knees be wide. If you want to stretch through those inner thighs and if you really want to feel vulnerable and more open, this is very much a receiving vulnerable open pose. Or you can also knock knees together, stand your feet up if low back's tender. So find your shape. And then we're going to turn off your engine like a car. So just think of a car when you turn off the engine there's nothing to do no moving no doing just be completely relaxed receiving Receiving all that the universe, that nature, that your surrounding has to offer. We are designed to have equanimity to be free. Your authentic, pure, highest self is pure love. So just be that right here, right now. Slowly begin to awaken. Begin to come back online into this new moment, this new day, this new way of being. So you get to choose what you're filled up with. Choose your thoughts. Wiggling fingers. If your knees are wide and supine baddha konasana, bringing the knees together. And stretching the arms up overhead, stretching the feet, a good morning stretch. Reawakening, being reborn into this more authentic version of yourself, more connected to that deep love. Rock side to side. And roll onto one side, whichever side is calling to you into a fetal position, knees pulling up towards your open heart, chin tucking in. Just feeling the gratitude of the beautiful day around you. 
the rhythm of peace, the rhythm of being in community, the rhythm of nature. On the next inhale, use your arms to press up to seated. Finding a comfortable seat, smile on your face, feeling grounded in your hips, tall in your spine. Inhale, reach your arms out to the side, up overhead. Feel the sunlight if it's there. Exhale, bring it out to one direction. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, unfurl, open. Exhale, bring it out to the other side. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, inhale, open. Look up. One more sip of breath. One more sip of glorious breath. Press the palms together. Bring your hands to heart center. The light in me honors the light in each one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Thank you, Allison, for being here. Thank you, my friends. One